distance-loving Madewell won his last four starts of 2020 in becoming AQHA distance champion. He's back for 2021, and the first stop is the Grade 2 Remington Park Distance Challenge. Full coverage is next. Accelerated is sponsored by Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association, Remington Park Racing Casino, and by American Quarter Horse Association. Welcome to Accelerated as we give you an up close look at the Grade 2 Remington Park Distance Challenge. Written for three year olds and up at 870 yards, it drew a strong cast of eight older runners. Higher Flying Eagle drew the rail and is the 3 to 2 favorite. He won this race last year in romping fashion gate to wire, in the process defeating Madewell, who checks in second on the outside. Higher Flying Eagle ran fifth in the Grade 1 Distance Challenge Championship last fall before contesting a pair of stakes this meet at Remington, most recently fourth in the Grade 2 Pauls Valley. Daniel Amaya hops aboard for this. Another qualifier to last year's distance championship is I'll Take You for a Ride. He gets a special greeting from regular rider Kelsey Purcell before this race. An accomplished 870 specialist, I'll Take You for a Ride drew off to a 6.5 length score in the Grade 3 Lone Star Park Distance Challenge last fall. He's 5-2 here in his first start since running second in the Grade 1 Distance Championship October 24th. Also 5-2, but the third choice in his seasonal debut is Madewell. The reigning AQHA champion distance horse parlayed wins at the Downs in Albuquerque in his final four races of 2020 into the title. The biggest was in the championship, where he rallied from off the pace to clear the field by nearly three lengths under Benito Baca. Madewell has post five for this RP challenge, with the winner getting a return ticket to this year's championship. They're off. The Ramage Park Distance Challenge, great start inside for Higher Flying Eagle, already off by a length and a half before they get to the turn. Higher Flying Eagle well out on top. Here comes a run now from Viva Ladon into second. Candyman Dash third as they reach the bend. Wide fourth, that's SW Gunslinger. Hugging the rail, I'll take you for a ride. Well back, eight lengths off of it, being passed now by Viva LaRock. Coming on, Madewell has a lot of work to do, and at the back, SW Artemisia. Just off the quarter pole, top of the stretch. It is Higher Flying Eagle there by three. Trying to keep pace, Viva Ladon second. Here comes a run from I'll Take You for a Ride. Third and gaining with a furlong to go. It is Higher Flying Eagle trying to hold on and not giving up is Viva Ladon. Viva Ladon goes by. Viva Ladon put Higher Flying Eagle away easily. A rush from I'll Take You for a Ride. Not enough. Viva Ladon on top by three. He gets a perfect trip chasing the speeding early leader. And with the field spread out on the turn, Viva Ladon takes aim and blasts off to a two and a half length win. Already graded stakes placed in multiple shorter sprints and a graded winner at 550 yards. Viva Ladon adds a graded tally around a turn in just his second try at that. He's a gelded five-year-old son of rock solid Jess and the mare Viva Arriba, who also produced the four horse in this race, Viva La Ruck. Both were bred by Jack Manning and Tammy Johnson, with Johnson the trainer. Interestingly, Johnson trained Madewell in 2018 and 19. The winner, Viva Ladon, has now banked almost $360,000 from seven career wins for Rock and Jay running horses. Winning jockey Josh Romero analyzes his trip. He broke really, really well today. Madewell didn't get quite such a good break, and I, I, I kind of was able to ease on over. He made the turn very well, and I had a lot of horse left underneath me when I turned for home, and I asked him, and I thought I might have kind of pushed him a little bit early to get to catch, to catch up to higher flying eagle, but it turned out that we had a, enough horse to, to get there first tonight. You know, this was his uh, second time A70, and we, we figured against the horses he had been running against earlier in his career that if he can get the turn as big as he is, we think we can make a decent A70 horse with him. And, and he's proven us right tonight so far, so I was, I was very pleased with the outcome. Viva Ladon defeats I'll Take You for a Ride with higher flying eagle third and made well for it. The time, 45.611 seconds.
Hello, I'm Selena Molina, singer, actress, animal lover, and racehorse owner. Few things give me greater joy than to watch them do what they truly love, to compete at the racetrack. And like thousands of other quarter horse owners, I respect and love my horses and give them the best of care. They're like family. Come see the world's fastest athletes at a racetrack near you. I might just see you there. Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association encourages the breeding and ownership of Oklahoma bred horses, promotes and protects racing opportunities in the state, and represents our members' interest at the state capitol. Learn more at oqhra.com. The Wrap-Up Accelerated is sponsored by Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association, Remington Park Racing Casino, and by American Quarter Horse Association. On the next Accelerated, we'll have full coverage of the Grade 1 $100,000 guaranteed Leo Stakes, a major 400-yard test in the handicap division set for May 1st at Remington. I'm Jim Byers. Thanks for watching.